All right, hey, what's going on, science class? Uh, seventh hour, it's the only class I'm actually meeting with today. You guys yesterday did some um, experimentation to see how different balls would bounce, and today we're actually gonna put that experimentation into practice, setting you a bounce goal, to see who can uh, try to meet that goal, and then um, testing it with the uh, ball that uh, yesterday, so I had originally planned this on you be assigned a ball and assigned a bounce height, and yesterday uh, someone made the argument that it made more sense since you're doing the testing, on how the balls bounce and how high they might bounce and that kind of thing, that you should get the opportunity to select which ball you want based on the height that you're given. And I think that makes sense. That is fair. Um, with science, we try to not have too many changing variables. Uh, and I think that that, that would be uh, within the controls, is for you to be able to say, okay, we did the experiment to see how everything bounces. We get to pick what we bounce today when you give us a height. I think that's fair. That is within our criteria and constraints concepts. So, reminder of the balls that we have. We have a regular 12-inch softball. Uh, I should have brought in a 16-inch, one of those big clinchers like this. Um, so we have a regular 12-inch softball. Uh, we have a regular 9-inch baseball. We have a wiffle baseball. That's the one with the round holes all over it. We have a regular wiffle ball. That's the one with the elongated holes, uh, more like, well, like that shape. Um, that's the one with the elongated holes. And then we have a regular golf ball with the dimples all over it and a regular tennis ball, green tennis ball. Um, it's not fresh, but you guys tested it yesterday, so you know what it bounces like. Um, so those are the balls that we'll be using. We'll get the meter sticks out. We'll have a concept of what our bounce height is that we are aiming for. Uh, and each team will get a chance to test that. My plan as I am recording this at 8 o'clock in the morning is to actually do, you get one bounce, I mentioned that, my plan is to do two different goals, so you'll actually get two chances to do it simply because you're going for uh, two different height goals. So that might change which ball you want to use, uh, so kind of giving you a preview of that. And um, that is the plan for today. Next week, all classes meeting, uh, back to regular schedule, moving on with things, um, continuing through our, our physics units as we continue on through fourth quarter. Um, I know sometimes you guys are kind of focused on uh, you know, how are things going? What's what's going on? So we, we've got full weeks, basically the rest of the school year. Uh, there are a couple of exceptions. Easter weekend is going to be a four day weekend. And then uh, Memorial Day uh, is a federal holiday. So obviously everybody gets off for that Monday Memorial Day week. And then the last week of school is only four days because we only have four snow days to make up. So there are going to be four four day weeks going through the rest of the school year. And then all the rest are five day weeks. And I think we have uh, 10 weeks left count them all up nine weeks I guess after today so that's about 50 50 when you kind of look at it that way half of them are five day full weeks half of them are four day short weeks uh, I think we can survive it so uh, if you ever have any specific issues trying to survive them please let me know other than that we're gonna be moving on to our bounce tests for today let's get her done <laughs> 